So the CDC no-sell order is set to expire on September 30th, 2020. At the same time, we do have a voluntary pause on cruising by CLIA, the Cruise Line Association, until at least the end of October. And some other cruise lines that would be sailing out of the U.S., like Princess and Holland America, have actually canceled their cruises until at least mid-December. So in this video, I'm going to answer some of the questions that many cruisers have about how and when will cruises start up again and what exactly might it take. If you're new to the channel, my name is Alana from the website and blog lifewellcruise.com. Before I get into that information, I did want to mention that if you do like this video, if you find it helpful or informative in any way, then please do give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please consider subscribing to the channel as well. So I'm going to go through seven points and I'm going to make sure that these are really things that are interesting for you and that are updates, but as well, some really kind of good news for not only cruising, but also for the economy and really for life in general. So let's get into that now. So the first thing that has to happen is that the numbers in the United States, in North America, have to continue to go down. And this is a trend that we've seen in the last couple of weeks. So it really is some good news is that the numbers of people with uh, cases of this virus have actually been decreasing. So this is a really nice trend. And although we are not there yet, um, it is not over yet, uh, we don't know what two, three, four months down the line will give us. And as Arnold Donald pointed out um, in an interview recently, he had said that if we would have looked at Italy a couple of months ago, probably most of us would never have thought they would be cruising in the Mediterranean um, this summer and fall. And they have. So it is potentially possible that things are just going to get a lot better and that the numbers will come down and we can cruise again from North America sooner than we think. The second thing that has to happen is that things just need to continue to go well in Europe on the cruises. Now we have had Mindship, which is part of TUI Cruises, a joint venture with Royal Caribbean, and they have been sailing sort of cruises to nowhere um, in Germany for now about, um, if I'm not mistaken, about five weeks or so. So that is a nice trend. They have done really, really well. No cases at all. Uh, we also have now MSC that has cruised with cruise ports uh, in Italy. So that has gone really well. And soon we have Costa that is starting up as well. So these cruise lines that have started are really testing out all of the protocols uh, to see what works, what they need to fix. Uh, MSC is even testing out um, how to do excursions in ports and while some people may like certain aspects and other people uh, may not because there are of course some restrictions at least it is a way back into cruising and this is something really positive. Number three. All right, let's talk about the CDC. The CDC's no so order expires on September 30th technically. However, they have put out a uh, call for public input, for feedback, if you will. And the deadline to submit that feedback is September 21st. So consider this a little bit of a reminder. They have 20 questions that they are asking that are both broad and specific. And really it is a chance for you, if you'd like to give some input about what you think uh, for cruising to resume. And as of today, um, I noticed that there were almost 3,500 public comments already on the website. So I will leave a link in the description below and I encourage you and go check out the comments and as well, leave your input as well for the CDC. Now coming up, I have two pieces of really interesting news, but before I get there, I did want to draw your attention to this question, which is the question of this video, what month will cruises start again? So there is no answer, of course, but I'd love to know what you think. Your best guess, and we'll try to add those up, what month will cruises start again? Number four. Now this has implications for cruising, but also for society in general. I think it's really great news. And this is the news that a company has had approval, FDA approval, to have a rapid test that is supposed to take 
only 15 minutes to get fairly accurate results. They say about 97 or 98 percent uh, accuracy. So that is pretty good news. And the results can be had within about 15 minutes. And again, it is very economical. So this is really something good as cruises do resume that testing can be used um, to make sure that people are healthy and virus free as they are getting on the cruise ship. Now, of course, this is not absolutely foolproof, but it certainly is better than what we have right now. And I can tell you, I did go and have a test. Um, about a week ago, I had a cold and I developed some coughing and I didn't actually think I had the virus. I felt like it was a regular cold, but because I was coughing, I did go and have a test and it was the swab in the nose and it was okay. It was just uncomfortable, but I can tell you if I could have a rapid test that I didn't have to go through that, I would be uh, much more thankful, especially getting on a cruise, which is a vacation. I would probably like to avoid that. Number five is also very exciting news, and this has to do with vaccines. Now, I know we have different opinions about some people like the idea of a vaccine and some people don't like the idea of a vaccine. Some people will take a vaccine. Some people don't want to take a vaccine. And that is okay. Everybody has choices in that. But I think we can all agree that having vaccines available is a good way for cruising to actually be able to start up again. It's going to be very important and it has ramifications for society, for the economy, for business. So I think this is really good news. So according to an article published in the New York Post, the CDC has approached the states and they have asked them all to be ready to distribute the vaccine as early potentially as November 1st. Now, as I read through the article, because that was the headline, I could see that this is not widespread use. They were talking about in the beginning uh, parts of this, they were talking about it going to healthcare workers and vulnerable populations. And of course, again, this doesn't mean that people getting onto cruise ships are all going to be getting vaccines, but it is a starting point that they are talking about vaccines and perhaps the vaccine will be here before we even know it. Number six, now we have not yet heard from all of the cruise lines the exact, well, the specifics of how cruises are going to work in North America when they do resume. And we do know that we expected to hear from Royal Caribbean and Norwegian Cruise Lines from their healthy sail panel. We were hoping by the end of August because that is what they said. We didn't hear from them. And what they have said, according to Royal Caribbean blog, is that they have said that they're taking a little bit more time now that the CDC is requesting information for September 21st, uh, that they are taking a little bit more time. So again, as a reminder, if you are interested in giving your input to the CDC, I will leave that in the description below. And the last thing that it will take for cruises to resume is that the ports have to be ready to take cruises back. And really what the cruise ships have to do along with the ports is really just coordinate how that is going to work. So at the beginning, it is possible that cruise ships will visit the private islands more so than the Caribbean islands. That's a possibility, but we don't know. It might be that they do something a little bit closer to the way the cruises in Europe have been working, where you have to take a cruise line excursion. And that is at the very beginning. So those are details that we expect to hear from the cruise lines themselves. But let's face it, it is going to be important not only for the cruise lines to keep passengers safe, but also for those islands, if they do accept cruise ships into the island, to make sure that they're also protecting their citizens, their residents as well. So I hope that some of this video has been helpful and has answered some of the questions that you might have about when cruises are going to start again and what it's going to take for that to happen. Now, if you haven't answered the question already, what month will cruises resume, then please do so now. And please let me know as well if you have answered the feedback from the CDC. I'm quite curious and I know we're all looking forward to hearing from the CDC as to if they are going to lift their no sale order. Let me know what you think, please, in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy cruising.